Hey everyone, this is Daryl as a service Webster. I just uh, finished off attending the Microsoft uh, Teams AMA, Ask Me Anything, in the tech community. Uh, that was an early start for me. That was about 5 o'clock. I had to get up for, for something else anyway, but it was a lively conversation and, and I was attempting to multitask, trying to attend a meeting at the same time as dropping in a few comments and things into the AMA. But there was a, a question that um, was around the use of the Yammer connector within uh, Microsoft Teams. And I wanted to be able to try and demonstrate and answer this um, in a live way, see if there's anyone joining me. So we'll see how we go. So we'll flick on over to my desktop. Um, so yeah, this was the, the AMA. The question was around, um, oh, I've actually... Let me go back one page. Um, it was around how to use the, the Yammer um, connector within the Microsoft Teams. And, you know, I found this to be some interesting choices around how it operates, how it works. Um, it's It seems to be sort of limited. And uh, the conversation was around, you know, how do we how do we connect it in um, and, and why were certain choices made? Uh, so I just want to go through the, the steps of connecting that, that Yammer connector because um, Eric here was asking, is there any instructions about how to do this? Um, some of these connectors seem to be um, intuitive and, and some of them you're, you're not sort of quite sure what the choices are and, and the implications. So if I just uh, buzz through this now, I'll just show you that I do have a, a Yammer group um, sitting in my, my own tenant. It's, it's part of a... Um, all the encompassing Microsoft Teams experience and groups, etc. I use it for demos, I use it for other things as well. Um, and we've got my Microsoft Team over here as well. So I've created a team called General, or rather a, a team called Engineering and a channel. Um, of course, General is a channel that's, that's always created. And our connectors sit up here in the Ellipsis menu. That's one place that you can get to them. Um, so let's go on down and have a look at connectors. Um, actually, just before I go into that, um, just out of interest, as I was logging in, that's new. <laughs> uh, it's a new way to highlight um, where these tiles are, uh, new tiles that, that might appear or new services that appear. Usually they just um, appear here in the, um, the waffle, um, and this menu seemed to be quite static, so I thought that was interesting. Another way to highlight stuff. Anyway, back to connectors, back to Yammer. So now we've got this new experience of um, this growing list of connectors that need to um, be easy to, to browse through and find. And so I'm looking for the Yammer connector. Now, um, let's just see something here. This is the, the, the full list. Um, you'd, you'd figure that it would be somewhere down here in the Ys and the Zs. Now, I don't think I've got any categories selected specifically. No, it's all. But I don't see Yammer there. Um, and it used to be there. Strange thing, but I can search it out here. Now we've got Yammer. Um, you know, just out of a social experiment, so to speak, because we're on Periscope. Is it is it in the news and social? Uh, yes, it is. So not sure what's going on there. All categories. Maybe things aren't quite in the alphabetical order that we expect. But definitely as I scroll through the all category, it's not there. Probably needs some work there. Let's go back to, to uh, where we know it um, can be found. We'll add that connector. Now, what I found interesting about connectors here is that um, I've already done this within my team. I've already um, created a account, um, or rather used my own account. Um, but if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to ask you to, to log in and authenticate to use this connector with Yammer, and, and so with uh, other connectors as well. Now, uh, what I find interesting there is, um, is it that the rest of the team is now going to be using this Yammer connector or whatever connector using my account? Um, maybe. Maybe we need to set up a service account. That starts to get a little tricky and a bit IT pro there for, for the um, regular office worker that might be uh, using Teams. We've got a, yep, so I'm using that account and I've got some options here. Um, I can follow a Yammer group. So if I'm interested in the uh, office relocation group, um, then I will get announcements. Only announcements. And this is, I guess, my key thing when I was talking in the AMA this morning, they asked me anything, um, that it seems a little restricted. Yeah, I mean, it's 
it's like we don't want to bring the whole Yammer experience into Teams because then why would we go to Teams? Uh, rather, why would we go to Yammer? But um, I get the choice here in the sense that someone makes an announcement in a specific Yammer group, an admin of sorts, um, and that announcement comes into our team and then we're aware of it. Cool. But what I would like to see, just at a minimum, is having a... Um, just every, any new conversation, any new thread that's created in a Yammer group, come into your, as a connector, and come into the, the channel so that we can discuss a response as a team, and then go back in. And the ex example that I gave was if you've got a external Yammer network, um, you're using it to engage customers, and you want to know when a new post has been created, um, that you can talk around it, go back in, um, and then have that conversation. Um, so. Much like with Zendesk, I mean, Zendesk is a separate service. Um, the goal isn't really to to be completely using Zendesk within Teams, but just some or enough of that functionality has been brought in via connectors and via tabs so that you can have that conversation around the content as a team, then go back in and, and respond to the Zendesk ticket. So that's, that's my feeling around that. I think with Yammer, uh, I would like to see that I'm following a Yammer group and I want to see more than just announcements, I also want to be able to see new conversation threads. Um, we can also uh, create a um, connector that follows a certain user, so Matt Stafford. Oh, that's funny. Means I have to actually get notified when a user you follow creates a post or replies to make posts to a public Yammer group. So it's, it's a bit sad that I can't um, get a auto-completing look up there. Is there anyone else that I can try there? Laura, what about myself? So it's just, you know, I've got to type in the full email address. M. Stafford. No spamming. Uh, keywords. Yeah, so that's the idea. Um, keywords then, um, so the keywords of course are going to be your hashtags that you can use within Yammer. Um, so that could be um, support ticket, or it could be, um, and I don't think we're supposed to put the hashtag in there as well, so ticket and um, idea, it could be another one. Um, and then it's all about the frequency, how often are you going to get the, um, the messages coming into your team? So do you want them uh, daily as a digest? Do you want them to come in uh, every 15 minutes? Um, so imagine this, that you do have a, a very active Yammer group in your, in your external Yammer network or in your internal Yammer network, um, that you know, this is the frequency that you can have at the very least 15 minutes um, intervals when um, the group will be checked and um, you'll get that conversation coming in. Um, now, if you're wanting, oh, there we go. Actually, the very least is, of course, deliver the individual message as the post arrives. So that actually makes a lot more sense um, for for being able to react and, and um, uh, connect with it immediately. So those are all the different choices. It's quite a simple um, connector to, to create. Um, I've found in practice, like with some connectors, like the Twitter connector, if I'm interested in a um, certain hashtag or keyword, then that can really fill up a, um, a channel or a Office 365 group, um, Outlook group, uh, with, with all the different posts. So it can be quite a, um, uh, a difficult, a difficult um, uh, thread to, to follow. Um, and then, you know, regular conversation gets lost in all that connector activity. So this is why you might choose to use a digest for certain connector um, uses. Um, where I think that if we can just expand this little about following Yammer groups, have more than just announcements, but maybe a, a choice there for, for new threads. Not necessarily every reply to a thread, because then we're bringing the whole Yammer conversation and experience into Teams. Now, <laughs> um, in a cheeky kind of fashion, um, you are able to uh, go in here and um, actually add the full Yammer experience anyway as a tab using websites. Um, let me see, I don't think there was anything special I had to do when I did that, so let's just go through and do that. I'm going to go and say office relocation. Grab that whole URL, jump on in here, 
group so that's quite a long tab name but anyway save and save and now the thing with these website tabs is that it is using the embed functionality uh, oh, great okay so as you can see it's embedding it's asking me to authenticate and go in and use it's not like a, a nice tidy um, connector that we saw before where um, it's using a, an account that is being stored and is going to be used um, in there so I would have to go through this example and let's do that quickly uh, today's password oops right actually i do remember this now there was something funky about this so i've signed in it's gone through um, and let's do a refresh yeah, no, there's something that's changed here. I was able to embed this earlier. Um, now it was really just going to be the Yammer page. Um, ha, I know what it was. Um, I, I did this. Uh, let me let me show you this goofy kind of workaround. Um, Outlook. Whoops, let's try this again. HTTPS. All right, outlook.office365.com. Um, forget the, the name of the tab. There was some way I did this before um, where I could bring in um, one of the Office 365 experiences. Then you could go up to the um, the waffle and um, and bring in the, the Yammer experience within here. So something's changed since, um, since GA. No, I, I would expect that. Um, so yeah, we're not able to bring in that full experience at this stage. And you know, by the reactions and questions on the AMA this morning from the Microsoft Teams team. Um, I don't think that's the intention either is to bring in that full experience into Microsoft Teams. So um, that's that's really how you, you go through and create that Yammer connector. Um, for those who joined me late, just feel free to go back and watch the recording earlier. But yeah, that, that question was a good one. And um, I think there's going to be continuing questions from the ask me anything that we had this morning um, so do jump in there in the tech community and um, see if there's anything there of interest that that kind of helped you to understand more about microsoft teams um, we do see that the product group from microsoft are in there and answering questions as well so uh, that is techcommunity.microsoft.com um, find yourself the microsoft teams community and there was a group within that community uh, let me think about this. There are different terminologies in this, this community. Tech community, then there's this community called Microsoft Teams, and then there is a team space called uh, Microsoft Teams AMA. So that's about it. I'm off to have breakfast because it's pretty damn early this morning. So, um, yeah, catch you later, and thanks for watching.